So, I'm doing a valve job on uh, my BMW M50 straight six from a BMW 325. Uh, money shifted and bent some valves. So, sent the head off to the shop, got it cleaned up, um, got it back, got all new valves. About half the exhaust valves were bent. Um, so, I decided to just go with all new valves, um, retainers, keepers, etc. Um, one of the first things you have to do uh, when you put new valves. Um, and ahead is you have to lap the valves in and uh, the concept of lapping is mating the valve surface with the seating surface in the head. Um, gonna keep it simple here a friend of mine said you should make a video of that not because there's not a hundred videos of this out there but because I stumbled across something which is not new but sure made it a whole heck of a lot easier and we'll get to that in a minute. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to put lapping compound on the back of the valve seat and we don't want to put too much whoops there we go and we just spin the valve around and just and that's way too much but won't hurt us too badly keep going around here and spread that out a little bit there we go all right not perfect but this will certainly do Alrighty, then um, we want to not forget to put um, some lubrication on the valve stem because we don't want to burn up the valve seals. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of lube on the stem. Oops, that's way too much, but again, that won't hurt anything. All right, so we're going to be working all the way up here. I'm going to have to back the camera up here a little bit. Pop that in. Take a second here. Okay, so what first thing I want to show you here is um, the typical lapping tools or dowels um, they come in various sizes and what you'll see here is these dowels have um, suction cups on the tips uh, in various sizes I got I got the uh, the two different sizes they come in large and and small um, intake valves and exhaust valves are different sizes I didn't want to take any chances and I'm actually glad I got both because the the smaller on the large dowel and the larger on the small dowel work perfectly for my application um, so the trick I ran across was um, rather than doing the wood burning um, uh, like it like your starting fire um, trick with the dowels which you've seen in hundreds of videos I took the um, suction cups off the end of the dowels and attach them to um, uh, bit driver heads to use with ta-da friendly neighborhood power tool um, for this particular one I'm going to use the smaller of the two heads um, you can see it here on the power tool I actually had to put a um, uh, Oh, you know what this damn thing is called—a clamp uh, to secure it to the to the head because I didn't quite have the right diameter that I wanted. Um, but it, it works equally well to to do it just like that. All right, give me a second. Let me reposition the camera a bit here. This is clearly a professional production. Get this in here a little bit tighter. Righty. Anybody seasick here? That's what we want to be looking at right there. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right on the head, and then we're going to. It's kind of tricky to get it centered, but once you get it centered, it actually goes pretty well.
you can see I'm sort of popping in and out. You want to be rotating and applying pressure alternately to, to get the grinding motion, uh, much like you do with the dowel. Um, and you want to alternate directions also. So I'm going to do that now. Get a little bit of slippage and occasionally if you slip too much then you have to redo everything and start over but once you get the hang of it it actually goes really really well and you can see i'm not rotating too terribly quickly i've got my my driver in low gear um, this is uh, of course aluminum um, an aluminum head and you don't want to get carried away and, and bang in anything um, of course the seats aren't aluminum but you don't want to generate too too much heat you just really want to grind those two the, the seat and the valve together so that they mate so you just want to take your time with it carried away there. Get it centered again. And reverse direction. probably all this one needs. Um, you'll need to check yours uh, to see what kind of seating you're getting. Um, use a little bit of Prussian blue. I'll do that a little bit later. That's a different video. Uh, but you can use Prussian blue to check the uh, perfection of your seats. Uh, and that's about it.